What's going on guys and welcome back to the dev channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a GUI that slides in and out of the screen when I, you click a button. This is actually going to be like a branch off of the short that I uploaded relatively recently on how to make a settings GUI that just like pops in when you click a button. It just kind of appears though, it doesn't have any animation and I'm, today I'm going to animate it. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a screen GUI and starter GUI. After that, create a frame and then a text button in that GUI. I'm going to customize the button and the frame and then get back to you guys. All right, so now that we have a customized button and frame, it's time to get to the actual scripting part. So I'm going to make a local script in the button. Obviously, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to define everything that we're going to be using to animate the frame. So we need to define the frame first off. Next, we need to get the button, which is literally just script dot parent. And finally, we're going to create a local variable, which is just going to hold uh, it when the button or the frame is on screen or not. Next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a function for when the button is pressed. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to create the uh, backbone of the thing of the project, which is basically just going to be a giant if else if statement or not a giant one, but it's just going to be a relatively simple one, actually, um, where if visible equal equal false then do something else if visible equal equal true then do this and i'll do the if false one first so we're just gonna make visible equal true and then what we're gonna do is we're going to actually tween the frame so we're gonna do this by doing tween frame dot tween position which is gonna animate the frame for us this function's relatively complicated and I'll get to it, uh, each part of the function when I do it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get the actual frame's position to where we wanna tween it to because this visible is gonna mean the frame is off screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type udim2.new, like we're creating a new instance. And what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get the frame's position. So this right here, we're going to get that, we're going to paste it into here, and we are going to delete all of the brackets, like the curly brackets, so it's just numbers in this set of parentheses right here. And then we're going to add a comma, and then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to do the easing direction, which is just going to be out. Um, and then the next thing we're gonna need to do is the enum is the direction style or the easing style my bad and This is going to be linear because we want it to just go in a straight line We don't want it to like go woo whipty whipty and like all over the place So we just want it to go uh, in a straight line to the position right here And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the speed for that Which is gonna be just point three and then we type false here this is just basically to not have it override anything else and just to let it, you know, go. And yeah, that's basically it. What we could do here is we could just copy this and paste it. And then we're going to set this to be false instead of true. And the only thing we're going to change in this giant tween position function is we're going to make this one because we want it to be off screen when we uh, make it go down. So we want to make it tween to go off screen. So now, now that we did that, we want the frame to be off screen originally. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to make that one. And now it's off screen. So now if I hit play and it, it should work, we should just be able to hit the button here. It goes up hit the button again. It goes down. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is relatively short and I know you guys are expecting a very specific video, which I might even be able to upload later today. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.